it's it's illegal to to even touch a, a desert tortoise in the wild mm -hmm. unless of course it's in the middle of the road and about to get crushed in which case it's certainly something that you can do just pick it up and put it by the side of the road in the direction it was traveling you don't want to put it back on the same side that it already was you want to put it where it was was headed but yeah it's it's illegal to touch them and and really the, there's no absolutely no reason to take a, a pet des or to take a desert tortoise out of the wild when there are so many pet desert tortoises needing homes and it's exactly the same species there's no difference at all so people can come to this event on uh, Sunday at the University of Nevada a cooperative extension find out about adopting these uh, desert tortoises what kind of things are they going to hear they're going to hear a little bit about the tortoise itself how it lives and, and what it, what it does what its habits are and some interesting facts about the tortoises they'll also hear about how to adopt the the entire process from beginning to end it's not the same as going and grabbing a cat where you just go to the humane society or to a shelter and you take a cat and you take it home uh, for a, a desert tortoise you have to create a habitat for it so that it can survive because if you just put it out in, in the yard with no shelter and, and no home no burrow mm -hmm. then it would quickly die so a lot of the uh, workshop will be about how to create a habitat for the tortoise mm -hmm. and, and it'll just be a general information session so that people can come along and decide whether it's right for them certainly we won't be uh, doing any adoptions on the day mm -hmm. we'll be just hoping that people come along find out what's involved and we just hope that some people are interested in uh, taking on a, a tortoise. There you go. And so uh, what time is this event going to be held at? It's going to be from 2 to 4 and there'll be a little break in the middle with refreshments because it, it is a lot of information and we don't expect everybody to come out and just take everything in. We will have some information packages which show some information on how to build the burrows, the diet, we're going to be talking about the diet, what they eat and, and how we can help and, and how tortoise group can be involved in, in the process when somebody interested in, in taking on a tortoise. And for more information or if they can't make the event what should they do? They should just head to our website uh, which is www.tortoisegroup.org and they can find all kinds of information there or if they just type in tortoise group into a web search they'll, they, they should find us right at the top there and they can find all kinds of information whether it's starting the adoption process whether it's reading our care booklet whether it's just looking at some of the information sheets that we have online, they can just check that out and decide whether they want to pursue it. There's absolutely no obligation for people to come to the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, they can they can do it all independently online. And one of the good things about having the website is that if people do come out to the meeting, as, as I just said, they, they're going to be overwhelmed by the amount of information. So they can take what, what they want and from the meeting, go home with their little package, and then just check out the rest of the information online at their leisure.